started out doing track whenever I was younger and I wanted something competitive to do. So I got into bodybuilding and I tried bikini, but from track my legs were really developed and I tried and tried to get my legs to slim down for bikini, but it didn't really work out. And my first show, my critique was to try wellness. And so two weeks, uh, two weeks after competition, I just started training for wellness and now, now here I am. <laughs> I mean, I love the bodybuilding aspect of it and making your body better because I love the health aspect of bodybuilding as well. So being able to combine them all and still be competitive with it was kind of interesting to me. And I think I still want to keep competing. For a while, I thought like I need to get leaner, leaner, like you're supposed to have all your muscles popping and stuff. But um, at some points, when I get really lean, your muscles aren't as full. And so I've kind of been teetering on the balance of being slim enough to compete and then and like looking good and then also still being athletic and using my muscles to like help me shine I guess. <laughs> I like the um, kind of family aspect. Everybody I've met so far in bodybuilding, usually uh, whenever you meet people they want something from you and then they'll help you but a lot of people I've met so far They've just been so willing to help me and they've just been giving and open. And I think a lot of people in bodybuilding are like that because we all kind of build off of each other. I think a lot of girls are nervous about bodybuilding and getting too big. And then there's also the side of the girls that are athletic and then they don't want to diet and they don't want to slim down because they're afraid that they're going to lose their curves. I think everybody has a really good median point they can find. You just have to kind of tweak it and work at it and go back and forth for a while and you'll find your perfect spot. But the girls that are afraid of getting big, I think they should, don't, don't be afraid, just come in the gym, you're going to love how your body looks. And then the girls that are afraid of dieting, it's like a learning curve at first, but it's fun to be able to transform your body just based off the foods you eat. In high school, I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease, so food was always like a touchy subject, like should I eat this, should I not, is it going to upset my stomach? And so um, I kind of veered my whole diet to a more healthy, clean version, and that helped my, um, my stomach be a lot better for the, from the Crohn's. And like this prep also hit a bump because I got appendicitis uh, three weeks out. So I was in the hospital for three days. So that threw another little gear into it, but it's always interesting trying to see what you're gonna get out of prep and changing the foods and all that stuff. Um, I was that annoying person in the hospital that was like, no, I'm not gonna get the surgery yet. <laughs> and the doctor was like, uh. <laughs> I was kind of determined to still do my show so I was talking to the doctor about it and um, he said that they have this new way of doing it where you can, you have to stay in the hospital for three days on antibiotics, on the IV. And I was like, okay, I'll try that so I don't have to get the surgery. And we stayed there for three days and it cleared up. But he said I still have to go back to get the surgery after my shows. I didn't tell him I was going to go to the nationals though, so. <laughs>